Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Bytes. So in this video, I am gonna show you how I made this PUBG Mobile scorecard animation using Vmix. So without any further ado, let's get started. So in the very first step, let's move towards the GT Title Designer. As you can see here on Vmix, on the bottom right corner, we can see the menu and inside the menu, there is uh, various options. So on the menu, we can see GT Title Designer. So let's open it. And then I've already opened the GT Title Designer. And inside GT Title Designer, you can see this one interface. So inside this one is interface, let's import an image. So I'm going to import this one PUBG Mobile image from that I have downloaded from the internet. So this is a 1920 by 1080 file. And we can name it as BG for our convenience. Similarly, I'll be adding a rectangle of the same size. So let's make a rectangle and adjust it on the same size. So change the color to black and then the alpha to about 79. So like this one. So now our background image has been ready. So let's move towards the title animation and create the same next layer and we can name it, let's name it as header. So inside the header option, I'm making a small rectangle. So let's set the color. So let's make it this one color. And selecting the rectangle, let's move towards the effect option. And inside the effect option, you can see here there uh, is skew option. So we can skew it by any angle. So I'm setting the angle to 17. So this one is perfect for me. And as you can see here, the angle has been set. So let's select the rectangle again and then and then let's trim this right side. So I'm going to trim this right side and I'm making it around 18. So I made it 18 and then let's set the feather to zero. So now you can see we are seeing the sharp is here and in the same way if we like to make this one let's copy and then again paste it here inside the header layer so our rectangle next rectangle is ready so we have already set all this x0 as 18 so let's reset the x0 to 0 so now we can see here our slanted design is ready. In the same way, you can set it for different other headers. So I've copied and pasted it again and again. So in this way, I have pasted it again and again. And for the extreme right side one, we are going to set the Y0 to, sorry, X1, I think. Okay, this X1 to around 88. So in this way, you can see that our X1 is then ready. So in this way, I have set this title header. And for all other scorecard background, you can also make this one and copy the head layer like this one. I'm going to copy it by selecting these all rectangles and then make a new layer and let's select it as team one and then let's paste it over here. So I pasted the, these rectangles again and then you can see 
it's now ready. So this one is taking most time. So I'm going to show you from the scorecard design that I have already made. So let's open the scorecard design. I'm not saving it this design. So you can see here I have created a layer below that contains the background and the rectangle one. In the same way, the layer one, this one is for the header as I have designed already the header one. And inside the layer, I have set the animation for it for the transition in. So for the transition in, I have sel selected it as fly and for the delay it it is zero second and i have made all of the animation for of duration 0 0.5 second and then the style is set to cubing is in and then the animation is from left to right we can select it from left to right or right to left so i have selected it from left to right so let's see the animation here as like this one is the animation similarly i have set the next design to white color and i have set the layer animation to fly however for this one i have set a delay of 0 0.1 this one contains delay of 0 the main heading and then the next heading contains the delay of 0 0.1 second in the same way i have set the delay difference of 0 0.1 second for the layer third i have set the delay of 0 0.2 second in the same way i have set the delay of 0 0.4 second for the layer 4 and then 0 0.5 second for the layer 5, 0 0.6 second for the layer 6. Let's open this layer. So in the same way, for layer 7, I have selected 0 0.7 second. For layer 8, 0 0.8 second. And for layer 9, 0 0.9 second. So in this way, we have finished all of our scoreboard animation. So this animation is like this as shown below. So we can preview our animation from here by using the play transition in. And now we have finished our background. So now let's begin with the text. So for the text, I have created our text layer and it contains the various text blocks so you can simply select this text block and then like this one you can create a text and change the font as you like so this one is how we created this one text block so let's delete this one and then you can see here everyone single text is inside a different text block so this one is the text block for the header section so for the header section we can see there the animation is set to the transition in animation is set to fade and then the delay is of 0 0.5 second as our background is going to take some time for the animation so we have set the delay to 0 0.5 second uh, you can adjust it according to your test so the duration is set to 0 0.5 second now you can see here the text animation is also heading out after 0 0.5 second so this one is for the main header text so i have not named it for the header text is is it going to be this text is going to be our constant text so on the data section here you can see all of my text block is set to hidden so that it's not going to see in our title editor so we will see it later so if you don't set it to hidden then it's going to see it on our title editor and it's going to create some mess problem so if you would like to keep the same text on the heading so make sure you have selected all the text to hidden so i have selected all of these text blocks to hidden from the layer text layer main heading layer so you can also name the layer as header or 
as you like for your convenience. So similarly for the first position we can see here the first position this text the image is set to hidden here. I have set the image to hidden as I am going to not going to change the image for all of these sections. So I am set it, the image to hidden. So it's not going to see in our title editor. So similarly, the total points, all of these things, skill points, placement points, and then chicken dinner, and then team name one, and the serial number one. These are all set according to our Excel file. So I have prepared an Excel file for the data. So you can see here the data contains serial number and also the GT title designer title also contains serial number. So I have set it on uppercase. SN is in uppercase. So make sure you have set the same name that you have kept it in our heading. So in the heading you can see here we have all of them are capital letters or uppercase. So I have also set them all of them to uppercase and then all of them contains one for this one is the first data animation this one is the first set of data so I have set it to one this represents to this one first row this one is for our first row so it is set as one similarly on the second position you can see here it is set to two all of them are set to two that means that it is for our second set of data Similarly, the third one contains the three on the back of all of the headings. So, and the sim similarly, the fourth one is set to four, and fifth, sixth, and seventh are on same way. So, the first position is animated at a delay of one second, and similarly, the second position for 1.5 second delay. The third position is delayed at 1.2 seconds. In the same way, I have set the difference of 0.5 seconds for each animation. For the sixth as well as seventh, the delay is 4, similarly 3.5. And for the eighth position, the delay is set to 4.5 seconds. So you can see how we created this one. Uh, let's delete this one and then see how we have copied the value from the above layer. So if you have made uh, one of the layer, then you can copy out and then paste it for another layer. So for the seventh position, I have created a layer, then select these all options or all text from this one. And then let's copy and add a new layer for the eighth position. At position and then paste it here. So I pasted it all of the values and then these values are overlapped. So let's move these values to the earth section. So in this way you can see here all of our values have been pasted and on the back side you can see here it. Since Vmix is going to serial wise number your text so you will get a value of it. So in this way we can copy we can design a single value and then copy it for all of these eight columns. So for the eighth position now, let's set the animation to fade. And we can see here the duration is set to 0 0.5 second. And then the let's see the delay. For this one, there is the delay of 4 second. So for the eighth position, the delay will be 4.5 second. 4.5 second. And similarly, the style is set to cubing is in. Sorry, the style is set to linear for all of, the, all of this. Now you can see that the animation is ready and we are ready to go for the Vmix animation. So let's save it. So you can save it and name it and browse it to uh, the selected location. So let's select save as and then I have selected the PUBG scorecard and then I've already saved the GT title file. So let's select this one and then click on save. So as I have already uh, saved this one, so we can replace it from here. And in this way, we have created our scorecard animation. 
So let's move towards the vmix. So inside the vmix production software, we can select the add input and then inside the add input there is a option called title and XML and so for the newly created designs we can head over to the recent folder or you can also browse it from your device and then you can browse to the scorecard animation similarly we can also see the recently created design here and so I have selected the PUBG scoreboard design and then let's click on OK so you can see here the title designer is then open so while designing the title designer I have told you to hide some of the value or to set the hidden values to some of them so these hidden values will not be seen here so it will create a uh, easier for the animation if you don't like the values of the text not to be displayed or not to be dynamically changed so at that time set it to hidden so now we will be heading towards the data source and inside the data source let's go to manage so let's add a new excel file as I have created a file in excel so let its name is pubg and then set browse and let's select the scoreboard so this one is the excel file for the scoreboard the data are inside there so as the scoreboard heading was all same as that of our heading so we are not going to change the heading so we'll be using this one first row as a column name so similarly next one convert rows to column you have to select this one and then after selecting this one you can see that our data is going to be displayed so the for this is sn1 that we have named it sn1 so it is first number team one name for angry man placement points one in the same way all of these values are going to be displayed up to the chicken dinner eight so this values has already been set now let's move towards the data source option here and then set it to pubg then table this one is to be kept same one not necessary to be changed so if you would like to select the table from various options then you can select the overall here the sheet values from the excel file similarly select it to as apply to all fields in the title and then click on ok so now our animation is ready we can see here all of the values have been inherited from the excel file so in this way we we can change the value from the excel file and the value inside our animation will also be changed so if you would like to change the value from the excel file and save it then all of the values are going to be changed so let's see the animation how it's going to be shown in our production so this one is the animation for our pubg mobile scorecard animation so i hope if you have found this video useful so if you like this one video then make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel so in the future we will be showing you various more videos related to vmix and